Hi guys, hope you're doing good. In this series of videos, we are learning about Linux or Unix commands. People those are using Mac, these commands are for you as well. Let me tell you how to create a hidden file or a hidden directory. Usually, to create a file, we'll be using a cat symbol followed by greater than symbol and the file name. People those who have not seen my video on uh, how to create a file or how to create a directory, I've given the link in the description. Please go and watch it and then come back here. Okay. Now, when I want to create a file, I'll be saying cat greater than symbol and the file name, right? Now, if I want to create a hidden file, it's very simple. Put a dot before the file name, right? So let me say secret file one dot txt. Now I'll say this is my first secret file. This is the end of my file. Done. Now, when I want to uh, list out the files which I have created, I'll say ls. Now, here in ls, you can see all the files except the file which I have created now because this is a hidden file. Hidden file is not visibly shown to everyone, right? Now, the same way, I can also create a hidden directory. So, to create a directory, I'll say mkdir followed by the uh, directory name. I'll say um, my doc. Now, this is my directory. This is how I created, right? But if at all I want to create a hidden directory, again, I'll put a dot before it. Very simple. Whenever I want to create a hidden file or a hidden directory or a folder, I will be putting a dot before it. Now, let me say mkdir and then right, let me say ls. Now, here again, you cannot see the hidden directory which is created here, my doc. Now, if I want to go there to move there, yes, simple, I can do that by my doc. I'm moving there. It's possible. But when I want to list it out, it is not shown to you. It is not shown to you because it is a hidden directory. Now, whatever file or folder that I create with before a dot, then that becomes a hidden file or a hidden directory. Right. But I can go inside only when I know it. Right. I can open this file only when I know it. Like I can say cat dot secret file. Yes, I can see this. But if I want to list it out, it is not possible directly. If at all, I want to list it out and see what are all the hidden files or hidden folders that are created by me, I'll say ls hyphen capital A. So when I say ls hyphen capital A, it lists out all the hidden files and folders that are created by me. Right. So you can see my dot my doc dot hid and dot secret file dot txt. Now these are the files and folders which are created by me. So to, to check right which are the hidden files and folders created by me i'll say ls hyphen a i've done a separate video on explaining about all the ls uh, options that are available ls command and options uh, do go and watch that as well right okay now i've said you how to create a hidden file and a hidden folder right if at all i want to create a empty file and a folder right i will tell you how to do it right it's very simple i'll be using a a command called as touch so to create an empty file I'll be using the command called as touch so touch followed by the file name right I'll say my empty file right now here you can see that it is not expecting you to give input like wherein you use cat here when I say cat greater than symbol it will expect you to give some input it will be waiting the cursor will be waiting for you but wherein when I say touch it doesn't wait for you as and when you just give the touch and followed by the file name, the file will be created, right? So as many number of files as one I can create it, right? I'll say file one, I'll say my empty file two, empty file three. So now I am trying to create three empty files. You can see here, right? My empty file one, my empty file two, and my empty file three. I'm creating three files, let us say ls. And here all my three empty files are created. So to create an empty file, very simple, use the touch command. Now, if you want to see what is there inside that, nothing. It's an empty file, as I said already, right? So it, now we have seen how to create a hidden file, a hidden directory and an empty file. 
That's it for this video guys. If you have any doubts or queries, please comment in the comment section. I'll definitely get back to you. If, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.